So this might be interesting to ask on the geopolitics side of things. I have the chance to interview a few world leaders coming up. By way of advice, what questions should I ask world leaders to figure out the geopolitics of nuclear, nuclear proliferation, mm -hmm. nuclear weapons, nuclear fission power plants, and nuclear fusion power plants? What's the in interesting, intricate uh, complexity there that you could uh, maybe speak to? The question I would want to ask is, what would you do if we could deliver for you low-cost, clean, industrial scale, tens or hundreds of megawatts of fusion power that's low-cost, clean, baseload, and doesn't have the geopolitical consequences of uranium and plutonium, of fissile material, what would you do there? How would that change your view of the next 30 years? But also there's a lot of geopolitics connected to oil, natural mm -hmm. gas, and other sources of energy, which I think are important in uh, Saudi Arabia, in the Middle East, in Russia, uh, I mean, all across the world. And that's interesting too. So do you think actually if everybody has nuclear fusion power plants that alleviate some of the geopolitical tension that have to do with energy, other energy sources? I certainly do that the fuel is in seawater all over Earth. Everybody has deuterium. <laughs> and everybody has it. And so you can't have a monopoly on the fuel. Yeah. And no one can control the fuel and no one can turn off the fuel. No one can cut a pipeline. Like that just cannot happen with fusion. And so if we can deploy those plants and we can deploy them quickly, then it, it decouples the ability of any one or any few countries to control energy.